Today was a bittersweet day for me and all Yankee fans. Today we saw Derek Jeter, our captain, our leader, the favorite player of any Yankee fan my age, the guy we constantly got into fights with people over when they say he's overrated, the great number two, Derek Jeter, got inducted into the Hall of Fame today. It was wonderful to see him and think back to all the great moments in Yankee history that he was a part of. And then it was quite jarring to juxtapose that with tonight's game and to see a Yankee team that was the complete opposite of everything Derek Jeter was. A team that has no heart, is not clutch, a team that doesn't care for 162 games a year. It was uh, really disappointing and it made me nostalgic. It made me nostalgic for the 90s and early 2000s and I mean, it made me go all the way back to 2009. I, I was thinking back to any other Yankee team. I was even thinking back to the 08 Yankees for crying out loud. Anything other than, than this team that we're watching right now. The Yankees lose again today. They've now lost five in a row, which ties the season high. And they have now lost that uh, home field advantage in the wildcard game. It now belongs to the Red Sox. The Yankees have done what seemed like it was impossible. They've, they've blown that home field advantage, which, again, a couple weeks ago seemed pretty impossible, but they, they've done that. And now they've given teams like Toronto, they've given teams like Seattle or Oakland, they've given them a chance to breathe. They've given them a chance to think they have a shot. And they might have a shot, the way the Yankees are playing right now. It is really sad that if it wasn't for Brett Gardner, if it wasn't for Brett Gardner, who's 157 years old, if it wasn't for him, this team would have done nothing tonight. It is, we're through eight innings. I didn't even, I, I'm recording it before the bottom of the night. I don't know what happened. I honestly don't care. The Yankees, so far in this series, have scored four runs. Four runs. Toronto scored five tonight. So far in 26 innings, and I know, again, I know Toronto's a good team. Don't, don't. Me, Toronto's a good, I know Toronto's a good team. And Blue Jays fans out there, you got a very good team here. But it's just, the, the, what is, what is the, where did the team that won 13 in a row go? Where is that team? That is the problem with this Yankees team, is that they are so inconsistent. That they are so, it's not that they're a bad team. I can't look at you and say, like, uh, at this best, this team could be just as talented as the Giants or the Dodgers or any other team you want to mention. This team is just as talented as all of those teams. But for some reason, they don't play 162 games a year. They play maybe half of those games. They care about half of those games. The other half of the year, they don't care. They are not motivated. They are not focused. Whatever that is, whether it's it is the stupid analytics, whatever, it's, whether it's the terrible manager, whatever it is, for some reason, this team is not motivated 162 games a year. And it's so frustrating to think about. I watch 162 games a year. I'm watching all these games. I'm motivated all these games. Why isn't the team playing like this? Why can't they play more? Why can't they have a better offensive showing in all these games? Why is it that Brett Gardner is the only positive thing about tonight? I mean, you look at Judge, who's been like 0 for 173, got, at least got one hit tonight. But you look at down the lineup, there's nothing. Gary 0 for 4 tonight. It's just, just, and the opportunities they did have, they couldn't capitalize. Seventh, eighth inning, they had chances, couldn't do it. Couldn't do a thing about it. They left seven runners on tonight. One for five runners in scoring position. Gary grounded into a double play. Yay. It was nice seeing Hill um, back on the mound. But he walked a lot of guys. He, did, he looked a little shaky. Because we've been, we've been advocating for him to come back and see him walk everybody was just frustrating. It, it, it's, I don't know, man. So then I, I, I can't even just begin to think about how frustrating this is, how annoying this is. Five in a row. After winning 13, we've now lost nine out of 11. We lost nine out of 11. And I'm watching the TV right now, Frank Arroyo's just taking out of Chapman, why are you so mad at this? Chapman, why can't you do this? i out loud. Arroyo this Chapman. Please stop being awful. What are you doing? I know Black and Brown Jr. is great, but why is this always happening in Chapman? Why can't my blood pressure stay the same anytime time this Chapman's on the mound? <sighs> That's what this team has done to me. They have broken me. They have destroyed me. They've made me a pessimist. They've made me an alcoholic. They've made me depressed. They've done everything. I know it's just a game. I know it's just baseball and all that. But I mean, for, 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 when, when you put your heart and soul into this team, it's just so sad that they can't deliver for you. On nights like this, they can't even deliver for you. That they're so inconsistent, that they're so bad on so many occasions. This team even ruined, the Yankees ruined my day of getting 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. But they've ruined that by the ineptitude of what they've been the last week. They've ruined all of that. And maybe they'll win tomorrow. Maybe they won't. I don't care anymore. Because what am I seeing from this team that makes me think they're going to win? I'd rather them lose a playoff game. I'd rather them miss the playoffs than lose the wild card game or lose the ALDS or even go to the ALCS and lose. I'd rather them just miss the playoffs entirely because maybe, maybe they'll figure out some changes. Maybe they realize we shouldn't rely on analytics. Maybe they realize you want speed kills. Let's not get another strikeout uh, guy. 
Let's get another guy who doesn't hit home runs or strikeouts. Maybe they realize Aaron Boone might not be the right guy. Maybe, maybe if they miss the playoffs, they will realize that changes need to be made. To go back to the Derek Jeter way, I mean, not the way Derek Jeter manages a baseball team because the Marlins are not exactly uh, the 98 Yankees over here. But, I mean, just that Derek Jeter mode of playing, of just guys who just, just get hits and are motivated and just constantly give everything. It'd be nice to have that. It's so sad. So sad to watch. Derek Jeter, we miss you. Please come back. I mean, that's stupid to think about, but just... Uh, can a Derek Jeter-like guy come back? Please. Something. Anything here? Because the, the way this team is right now, there's nothing. They're, they're, they're not motivated. They're completely dead on offense. And it's, it's miserable to watch at this point. Maybe turn around and win it tomorrow, but even if it does, it just feels like this team is bound to lose in the wild card game. At, 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 and that is the, the worst case scenario. That, it seems like the best case scenario is that they just lose in the wild card game and that's it. I don't think they go. And if they go to the ALDS, they might get swept. There's nothing I've seen from this team that makes me think they're going to turn around, make a play, run. Maybe a couple weeks ago. Maybe they peaked too early. Maybe that was the problem. They had a 13 win game. They should have done that in October. They peaked way too early. And now we're watching this team give away home field advantage in the wild card game. It's frustrating. It's annoying. I hate it. This is all terrible. Thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching tonight. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm just going to go home and cry. I actually am home. I'm just going to stay here and cry with my Derek Jeter hat and my Yankee shirt. I'm just going to sit here and cry. I recommend that you do the same. Because crying makes you feel a little bit better inside, I think. Whatever. I'm just speaking gibberish. This team is doing terrible my stuff things to me. This team is driving me insane. This team is making me crazy. Thank you, Yankees. Thank you, 2021 Yankees, for making me a crazy person. Bye. See you tomorrow. God bless.